HDF, high density fiber board. Also used to be called hardboard in the old days. Don't see it around so much these days, but it's produced by a process called steam explosion. It's one of the oldest uh, particle board or, or wood composite production processes that there is, I think. And basically you get a large pressurized vessel where you heat up, we'll put a lid on that to make sure it doesn't explode, um, and you have a valve at the bottom, not so different from pulping paper. Um, what you're doing here is you're getting those wood chips up to a temperature where you've reached uh, the point where lignin is a, a plastic material where it flows. It's the same kind of idea with MDF that once it becomes uh, more flexible, you can separate the fibres. Then, but then rather than having the chips going through some sort of attrition disc mill type arrangement, you just release the pressure catastrophically. Um, well, it's only catastrophic if something goes wrong. <laughs> so let's say suddenly. <laughs> Depends if you happen to be sitting inside that blow tank, I suppose. Um, Right, so there you release the pressure, the chips explode and the fibres get separated out. Uh, they're covered in lignin uh, and then that lignin you can actually use as an adhesive. So you then put those lignified fibres into a press and press at a high temperature with water being present, steam being present because steam plus temperature makes sure the lignin acts as a plastic material and it will act as an adhesive. So you're using nature's own adhesive to stick the fibres back together. And hardboard is always characterised, it always had a bit of a, always had a, bit of a smell to it. Um, and it is very glossy, dark brown material, particularly on one side, which was always the kind of the press side, and there was a, um, like a wire mesh on the other side, which was to let all the steam escape, because there's an awful lot of steam produced in that process. It's not so much used these days, you don't encounter it very much, but um, it was a process that was very commonly used. But I think with the advent of medium density fiberboard, it's become superseded largely.